I feel like I'm standing at the top of a hill, trying to convey how I feel to those I meet in my journey of life. Yet, when I look around at the meadow that surrounds me, it appears to be filled with those who hear but cannot understand the depths of the things I wish to convey. A strange pain begins to germinate. One in which I feel alone in a world I am not sure I feel at home in. Longing for a place far from this reality, yet basking in the beauty of the rays that shower me with experience. I've spent so much time prying open the gates of my hidden heartaches, tired of pretending it isn't beating with a desire to be truly seen and understood for what and who it is. Refusing the pressing desire to shut it all away and begin to play a carbon copy of a cookie cutter role being sold to me. Say it this way, do it that way, wear these clothes, try this face paint. It'll help you fit into our game. Is it better to mold myself to become one with the crowd? Or should I continue to bask in my solitude? Perhaps it is better to be alone for a while longer than to be surrounded by people who make me feel lonely in their presence. At no fault of theirs or mine. I am beginning to comprehend that perhaps there is no Rosetta Stone that can be used to make us understand every heart, especially when, even I must admit, the language of mine has changed more times than I can count, often without my full awareness, until the transformation is complete, and I now find myself in another waiting room. At this time, it is not filled with sadness and self-hatred. Rather, acceptance of what is and communion with my creator. A loving presence that keeps me from feeling unworthy. It urges me to continue living with an open heart but guarded lips. Full of discernment, empty of judgment, aiming to savor every flavor of this existence. Mm -hmm.